what's up how you doing we gonna get right into y'all just got done doing my 20 something series right now i want to talk about my personal journey to god right now For the last couple months, I have been consistent with um, listening to my daily, well, not my daily sermons, but weekly sermons. I at least listen to a sermon once or twice a week. And I did start a Bible journal, which I haven't been as consistent with, but um, I use the SOAP method to basically break down certain scriptures. But um, I just recently joined a church and... Um, Last, this last Sunday was um, my second time going. Um, the week before last is my first time going to this church. And I really just enjoyed the environment, enjoyed the word. The first time I went up there, y'all, I got social anxiety like I love. But I went up to the thing, laid myself down onto the stairs. When they say, you know, if you want to be prayed over, come up forth. Girl, I broke down. I broke down and it's been so long since I've been to a church. But that was such a spiritual like cleansing. Like when I tell y'all, I just cried and cried. And so many people, again, so many people were just looking at me. But one lady was just over me. She was like, it's going to be okay. Do you want to go to a separate room? You know, so I was just, I was just crying. I said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Forgive me through everything that I have gotten through. But, um... Personally, last Sunday, I got a word that really, really stuck to me. And he was like, favor is not fear. He went through Matthew 20, one through, scripture 1 through 15. And he basically talked about how um, the first workers, they went in, they did their work. And then the last workers came in, they worked for only an hour got paid first and they were upset and they were just trying to figure out they were just trying to figure out why they weren't paid for first why they feel like they should have been paid more and stuff like that but he had broke it down real good and he was talking about how god is going to give you what he feels is right for you but you have to you have to be grateful for your blessings you can't compare what you have to somebody else's blessings your blessings are just as valuable as somebody else's blessings. You got the value. You have the blessing to get up, walk, talk, breathe on your own. You have the ability to eat regularly. You know, some people do. You know, eat regularly and not through a tool. You have you brought yourself to this church on some walking feet. You know what I'm saying? You don't even realize how blessed you are until it's taken away. And you can't compare your life. You don't know what they've been through before they even got that blessing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that was their breakthrough blessing. Maybe they were almost at their last. You know what I'm saying? You don't even realize that your personal journey is a blessing in itself. And he also talked about um, how you have to get more full of yourself. When you're full of yourself, you realize that you are enough. You realize that, yes, I might not be where I want to be yet, but I am grateful for where I am. I'm grateful for what I have. I'm taking care of what I have so then I can plant a seed into fruition of what I want to become what i want to happen you know what i'm saying also he also said don't become too full of yourself to where you cannot allow god and that spoke to me too i was like hmm okay like yes you're supposed to be confident you're supposed to love yourself but when you become too full of yourself you become prideful 
you become egotistical you become what is that word what is that word what's that word you become greedy you feel entitled to have whatever well really we're not entitled to have anything god that's the only thing we're entitled to have we could lose everything tomorrow you know what i'm saying we could lose everything tomorrow just because you got it today don't mean you're gonna have it tomorrow you have to be grateful for what you have right now because you don't know where you're gonna be next week especially if you don't keep god at the top god is what's getting you to where you need to be god is what's pushing you to where you need to be and this is for my spiritual folks if you believe in god then this is messages for you god is what's guiding you and giving you the strength to be that discipline to make that happen to be that courageous to make that happen to be that confident to make that happen be that organized to make that happen whatever is going on in your life whatever blessings that you decided to curate God is within you, pushing you to become who you need to be. And you have to be grateful for your blessings and what is around you. You got to be grateful for the people that has entered your life, whether good or bad. They done taught you something. They done showed you something. Whether you, this is a person that you don't never want to be around no more. They taught you something. They taught you something. They taught you, I, I don't want to be used like this. Let me set this boundary. I don't want to be, I don't want to be lied to like I was before. Let me make sure I look at what they're doing before I put my trust into them. To spill certain, certain things to them. You know what I'm saying? God might bring somebody around you and you just feel their energy already. You don't want to be around that. I don't want to be around that. I don't want to be around that negativity. You know what I'm saying? God is just... I can speak all day. I can speak all day. Okay. <laughs> but personally for me, I feel like getting into the church, it really has helped in a way. Because it's like I have the scripture right there. I got my notes. I know, and then it's like it speaks to me every time I go in there. So it's like I don't have to figure out what scripture I need to work. It's right there in my face. This is what I needed to hear today. This is what I needed to hear today. The reason I came into church today is because I needed to hear this. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I've been praying every day. And I feel like it's making needed changes. Like I just took all my social media because I, I can take in a lot of energy and I'm an introvert. I don't like too much negativity. I don't like it. It starts building up and I just feel bad myself. That's not even, even my energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking on other people's energy or I'm comparing. I start comparing to once I get on social media long enough. I'm like, damn, she got this, she got that. At my age or younger and I, I'm not even where I want to be and Social media can do that to you. You know what I'm saying? It can start making you compare your life to them. And you start criticizing what God has already given you. That's what he also said. Um, he said, you start to compare. Compare starts to make you start to covet. Which is where you start, you know, seeing, feeling like what you have is not enough. So then you start to criticize what God has already given you. The only thing you need is God. The only thing you need to keep going is God. Ask God for the strength. Ask God for that faith. Ask God for that discipline. Ask God for that strength courage that strength as God for that confidence because if you if you did not 
it's okay for you to be weak. Because if you had it all together, if you had it all the way together, you wouldn't need him. You wouldn't. That's why I remember this thing. Beyonce, she was like, I feel scared every time I go on stage. But I go in there and I pretend like I'm confident. Something like so, something along those lines. But the only way she can get on that stage and pretend and not allow the devil on her shoulder to hold her back is God. You hear me? You hear me? Is that girl preaching? Is that girl preaching? But anyways, y'all, that's how my spiritual journey has been going so far. I'm just learning more. I'm starting to feel more okay with dealing with who i am and who i want to show up as and being grateful for who for what i've been through and who i what because we're none of us is free from sin none of us is free from sin none of us is perfect none of us it's just clean cut boom boom but god forgives me every time you know what i'm saying i'm gonna give my appreciation to god every time because he said that I am worthy. And I believe that I am worthy. Regardless of what other people make me feel. And yeah, I just, I feel like I've been missing the words. The words, the words. And I feel like I'm getting better and better and better and stronger. So, yeah, I'm just going to update y'all on how my spiritual journey, my religious journey is going. Um. Yeah. If you have another guy that makes you like, I'm not gonna